Today's hearings are a turning point in this impeachment inquiry and could be a turning point in the presidency of Donald Trump. Democrats are trying to paint a picture of a president who abused his power for personal political gain. Here is Adam Schiff, the leading Democrat in this investigation. If he sought to condition, coerce, extort, or bribe an ally into conducting investigations to aid his reelection campaign and did so by withholding official acts, a White House meeting, or hundreds of millions of dollars of needed military aid, must we simply get over it? Lawmakers will have to decide whether it was improper of President Trump and his inner circle to push for investigations into Trump's political rivals while at the same time withholding almost $400 million in congressionally uh, directed aid to Ukraine. Uh, the committee today heard from two witnesses. The first is William Taylor. He's a career diplomat, currently the uh, acting ambassador to Ukraine. He expressed alarm that military aid was being withheld and concern over the back channel foreign policy team led by President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Withholding security assistance in exchange for help with a domestic political campaign in the United States would be crazy. I believed that then and I believe it now. The committee also heard from George Kent, a career foreign service officer. He testified that Trump wanted the Ukrainian president to publicly announce investigations into Biden and Clinton. He also testified that Rudy Giuliani worked behind the scenes to push out the previous U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. Republicans on this committee have chosen to focus more on Democrats and the procedures than they have the content of what these two men testified to. But anyone familiar with the Democrats' scorched earth war against President Trump would not be surprised to see all the typical signs that this is a carefully orchestrated media smear campaign. President Trump has repeatedly said there was no quid pro quo and that he has done nothing wrong. He has called this investigation a witch hunt. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.